vlog I've not done one in so long and also I feel like I've just been so absent not even, not even just from YouTube from everything today is Monday morning the time is 11 30 and to be quite honest um, I didn't even really plan to film this it's just this morning I thought you know what I've not kind of updated it guy you guys on anything lately I've just come and done like a few fleeting fashion videos and having a bit of a rubbish time to be honest and this weekend especially, I just ha have had a complete digital detox. I've switched my phone on Do Not Disturb. I have I didn't even go on social media yesterday and just had a day like getting the house completely sorted, getting my washing up today, exercising, and I just needed it. So on Saturday, I spent the day pretty much in tears all day, and I don't even really know why. Um, just felt so emotional and I think it's a massive mix of a lot of things that have been making me just struggle with everything and it's kind of the reason why I've not picked my camera up much um, in the last few months and I suppose like chatted to you I mean I've done lots of fashion stuff but I've not been chatty on my Instagram stories I certainly haven't like been chatty on here or vlogged or anything um, I've not been feeling myself and I've been really struggling with my mental health if I'm honest which I've never struggled with before um, but I think I'm trying to still get used to the new me after cancer it's just completely different <laughs> I can't even explain how I feel I was on the phone to my sister this morning and I can't even explain to anybody like what it is or how I feel it's just I feel like there's two me's <laughs> there was the me before cancer and then there's the me now and they're completely different people and I'm trying to work out whether it's the cancer and everything that it's made how and how it's made me feel about everything and life in general and then I think it has a lot to do with going into early menopause for my treatment massively affected my hormones and my mental health and then also I think like I'm 37 I'm 38 in a few weeks and I think it's that time of your life anyway when you're like approaching 40 where you reevaluate reevaluate I can't say that word reevaluating a lot of things and I don't know it's just a lot it feels a lot it's also um, creeping up to the time last year when I got my diagnosis and kind of was waiting for results and everything um, so I got my proper diagnosis in October but I think this time last year I think it was like the 3rd of September or something when I went for my first smear and I I think from that smear I, I knew I kind of knew already that I had cancer I just I just knew and I don't know, it just feels emotional <laughs> um, to think that it's a year on. And I think also, so on Saturday, my kids went away with their dad. And I think this year especially, I've not really, there's been lots of things going on and I've not, they've not had like big chunks of time with their dad. Um, so it's now Monday, so we've had two nights where they are just, none of the kids are here and Max is also away on holiday with his mum um, and 
I was thinking about it yesterday and I think the reason why I felt so low this weekend is because it's been actually the first time probably since like when I got my cancer diagnosis where I've actually just had time on my own without the kids here. I'm very good and I've learned this through therapy. My coping mechanism for everything is distraction and like keep myself busy, distract myself with everything, whether it's work, kids, um, trying to like do like loads of things, exercise, just keeping busy. I mean, I'm. it's a bit ironic because I'm sat here now with my to-do list in front of me, but that is my distraction, avoidance, write myself a to-do list, keep myself busy, then I don't have to think about it. And I think that's what I've been doing without realizing it. And I think this weekend was the first time when I, I just kind of thought to myself, I'm not going to distract myself. I'm not going to keep myself busy. I'm just going to have a day to myself. And that day, <laughs> and I just basically cried. I sat on the sofa with the dogs and a blanket and I watched the notebook and I cried <laughs> and not even at like the bits that are sad, just throughout the whole film I cried and I just wanted to watch sad films, I wanted to cry and I did and I got a bit of time to myself, Rick actually went off to the gym and he didn't want to leave me but I was like I just need to be on my own and bless him he came back with like he bought me a chippy and some chocolate and some crisps and we just snuggled up on the sofa and watched films for the rest of the evening. But I think I needed to do it. I feel like I needed that. And then, because I've just been really, I've been really down and I've been really struggling and I know when I'm struggling because if I, if I avoid speaking to like my sister, my mum, that's when I know something's up with me because that is my go-to like coping. If I'm struggling, it's like head down, I can get on with this, I can pull myself through this. Like I'm very independent in that way. But I now know that actually that's just my way to just avoid things and just try and get on with, my, with things myself. And I think that's the way I've always dealt with everything from when like my relationship with the kids does when that broke down and when I was a single mom and when I was going through really hard times it's always been my coping mechanism of like I'll be fine I can get through this hard work I'll be fine I'll just put my head down and get on with it so in a nutshell I um I've been having a little bit of a mini breakdown but thanks to um I think all the therapy that I've been doing and just being a little bit more aware of what's going on with myself um, I'm able to like spot it and see what I need so so yeah I thought I need to get back into a bit more of a routine I need to do things for me that I've not been doing as much I've not been exercising very much the last few weeks and stuff so yeah I, I have a to-do list because I do like a to-do list and um, I have just basically got like a self-care section a home section if you know all the things to do with the kids but and then my work section but I've just been making sure like my self-care is number one priority and not really doing anything else until that is done so I got up at like 5 30 this morning I took the dogs for like an hour and 10 minutes walk I had a really big conversation with my sister which was lovely and then I've drunk loads of water I've had a healthy breakfast I have done my workout, which is the workout that Rick's put together, which is on the workout plan that we've been doing with the group. I've done some yoga, I've done a 10 minute meditation, I've showered, I've washed my hair, I've done my skincare, I've got myself ready for the day. I've also read and I've also done a little mini gratitude journal as well. And it is now 11.30 but I just felt like you know what it's Monday morning I need to just look after myself and get myself back on an even keel so I thought as soon as we're going to get back to a bit more normal I thought I'd put my camera put my camera up today and do a little bit of a weekly vlog, vlog and bring you I suppose along with my week because I thought with the kids being away they're away all week it actually gives me more time to just pick my camera up and chat with you guys because I think just summer holidays have been insane. We have had, to be fair, we've had such a good summer holidays. We've been 
We've been to South Wales, we've been to North Wales, we've been to Warwickshire to see my sister and um, yeah, now they're in UK with their dad. So we have had a good summer holidays and it is what I wanted to do. I wanted this summer holidays to be just good quality time with the kids and we have had that. We, I am a converted camper, which I never thought I would say. I've always been one of those people who's like, no, I can't do camping, I'm not a camper. And then slowly, I've, I've begun to enjoy it. Like, it's nice weather, there is nothing better than waking up, sitting outside in the fresh air with a cup of coffee and my book and listening to the birds. And like, it's just so, I found it so relaxing. And I think now that we've got like a lot more camping gear, like we've got a really amazing camping stove, we've got a car tent that goes over the car, so like the two of the kids sleep in the car. Um, and we've got like all the gear. I actually love it. I don't, me and Rick potentially may do something towards the end of the week. We might go away for a few days, but we're just going to play it by ear. I think part of the thing of keeping myself busy and doing loads of the kids this summer holidays has been another avoidance thing. And over the weekend, I had a real urge to just be like, let's go away, me and Rick. Uh, we were looking at like a last minute holiday and then. I think it is just one of those things where actually I think it'll do us good to just be at home this week and yeah, just not like run away from things and just deal with how I'm feeling a little bit. So yeah, that's a very long winded rambling <laughs> update, a life update I suppose. So I feel good, I feel good that like it's Monday morning and I'm, you know, in a really, really good frame of mind. Um, I've been ticking off my to-do list, so I literally could tick that off now as well. And um, drinking lots of water. I'm gonna go and have my vitamins in a minute because I've not had them for the past, like, I don't know how many days since we got back from camping because they're in the car, in like one of the little cupboard things in the car. So I'm gonna go and get those, have my vitamins, and then I'm gonna sit down and go through um, my work stuff. We also have it's a very exciting day for our family today because um, my sister-in-law is currently, literally, as we speak, in the hospital. Um, she went in for a cesarean section this morning and our new niece or nephew is about to be born. So we're literally just like, just waiting and waiting to hear um, whether we've got a new niece or a nephew and see some pictures and just find out how they all are. So. I'm really excited about that. I'm so excited. Um, and it's also Rick's first niece or nephew on like his side of the family. He's obviously got lots of nieces and nephews on my side of the family, but um, it's only him and his brother on his side. And yeah, this is his first baby. So, oh my God, we're so excited. So we are really, really excited. And yeah, waiting to find out that. Rick is actually out at the moment. He had an appointment at 11 o'clock to get a tattoo done um so i'll show you what he's had done when he gets back he was uh, so he's getting a tattoo here but then he's also been saying if he gets the news about the baby while he's there he might get like the date of um today's date onto his because he's like, like a whole sleeve he might like just add a little today's date into into his sleeve so that would be really cute so yeah he's doing that um, I'm waiting for Tesco delivery to arrive. Bless him, Rick, last night I cooked us a roast dinner and Rick sat and he meal planned for us for the whole week because it's only me and him this week. And he also did the online shop. So that was a real treat for me. It was like another just like job list off my to-do list. So I'm waiting for the Tesco de delivery to arrive and then I'll show you what we got actually and I'll show you the meals um, that we're gonna cook this week. So. Yeah, I'm going to get my laptop out and crack on with a little bit of work and wait for the Tesco shop.
the colours. Um, Tesco shops arrived, so I thought I'd really quickly show you what we got this week um, and run through what we plan to eat. So yeah, for once, and this doesn't happen very often, it's just me and Rick for the next five days, well six days really, so we've pretty much done five meals because we always find like one night we end up eating leftovers or we'll have like jack potato or something like that. So we thought we'll do five meals and just get organized for the week. Rick's done the food shopping for once, so it's actually quite strange uh, for someone else to do the food shopping. Usually it's me who gets organized, so I'll show you what we've got. Got some turkey mints. We generally eat turkey mints over beef mints nowadays just because it is leaner and yeah once you get used to it as well we found that um like beef mints just taste really really fatty nowadays so we've got some turkey mints to do either a chili or a pasta um, and just chuck this in the freezer as like a last minute thing then later in the week we got some chicken breast because rick's going to do some chicken stir fry i think we're going to have that tonight and then we got some tuna steak because one night we're going to have like a tuna avocado poke bowl and then we got two steaks i think rick's plan for that is to do like some beef noodles like steak noodle salad i think that's what he said and then we got some king prawns uh, because we're going to do like a king prawn pasta, I think that is the plan. He said something about orzo, but he's not ordered orzo, so I assume we're just going to do pasta instead of the orzo. And then we're trying to be super good, so we stocked up on tons of fruit and veg. Got some spinach, I think some of that is for um, meals, and then Rick quite often will chuck it in his protein shake. We got some rocket salad. Basically, I've gone off pretty much all salad apart from rocket, <laughs> so we always eat a lot of that. So we got two bags of that, a mango because we love a mango, and we've been eating mango with like sugar-free chocolate sauce on. It tastes so good. I actually put a TikTok on my TikTok channel. It tastes like chocolate orange, this, and then chocolate sauce. Um, we got some limes, which are for one of the meals, I think. Some lemons, just for like some lemon water. And then fruit wise, we just got some Granny Smiths because of my favorites, some bananas, because Rick eats so many bananas, and some oranges. I thought we were gonna get some other oranges, but it's not put them in. I said like maybe some big Jaffa oranges. I really fancied them, but they're not here. Two broccoli for, I assume, for like the Poke Bowl or the, um, the stir fry. I said just get loads of peppers because quite often I've been having like just big salad bowls for lunch so I thought I'll have like pepper, tomato, cucumber, avocado, um, beef tomatoes because these are my favourite kinds of tomatoes to like chop up and dice and pop in salads. We've got some more avocados because they're just like an essential for us and then oh and some red chilies for cooking. Um, I asked Rick to add on some fat free cottage cheese so I can have that at lunchtime feta because it is just a fridge must have it's an essential to have in the fridge as is hummus i don't like this hummus actually he got the cheaper one this isn't very nice i'll have to zhuzh it up with some like lemon and olive oil or something and then we've got chopped tomatoes for one of the meals coconut milk oh one of the meals he's doing is like a soup i can't remember which one it is might be the prawns like a chowdery thing um, I asked Rick to also get some couscous so I could have like couscous salads for lunch. We have three packets of bagels. These were supposed to be wholemeal bagels, which aren't very often in stock. So when they were in stock yesterday, I said to Rick, get three packets, we'll put them in the freezer. And then, annoyingly, they've now sent us original, but we'll eat them. Um, capers, because I love capers in my lunchtime salads. And then passatis for some of the meals. We ran out of peppercorns, so Rick got that. And then also ran out of sesame oil. Loads of eggs, because we always need loads of eggs in. And I asked Rick to get me another soap for the kitchen. Um, because our one was empty and it was in a really nice bottle. And I think the cleaners threw it away because <laughs> it was empty. So I usually refill it. But we've got another one. So got that too. Put these away. And... Um, Probably make myself some lunch actually. I've done some work, it's now five past one. Um, so I'll probably make myself a really quick lunch and eat it while I do a little bit of editing that I need to do. 
Um, I've got through all my admin stuff this morning, which feels really, really good. So I'm gonna crack on, have some lunch, and then head in, like really concentrate and get my head into like editing and get all that kind of contenty stuff ahead and done. I also, it's coming to that time, isn't it? It's coming towards autumn. So I want to plan out my autumn videos for like autumn fashion, or autumn styling. So I wanna do that this afternoon and order some autumn-y bits. So yeah, I'm also gonna put a wash on and let that just get going and and then get organized and uh, hopefully then I can have an early finish and I need to dip out and do a few errands, I need to go to the post office, I need to go to the bank, so yeah, we'll try and do that. leftovers out of the fridge so I've got some tuna brown rice tomato peppers avocado some feta that was left over salt pepper oh and capers because capers are my secret weapon when it comes to salads they make them so tasty no matter what it is I've um, got some brown rice that was left in the fridge as well so yeah I'm gonna eat this and get my editing done this little man he's having a sleep you're tired after your big walk aren't you Elson's having a little sleep on the chair. I think Mary is in the lounge. So yeah, I'm gonna set myself up and get this work done. this washing I thought I would just put my camera up because if I don't do it now I'll forget because I'm just so out of the habit of uh, vlogging and stuff so yeah I'm just sorting all this washing out the tumble dryer and um yeah I've had a really good afternoon I got I've uploaded I've edited uploaded done the video that I wanted to put up so if you've not really seen that I did like a bit of a Zara unboxing um a few days ago just to share a little Zara order that I got we were supposed to go into Milan last Monday um so I'd ordered loads of things to take to Milan I basically like a few things just went wrong 
uh, with the kids' dads and it just wasn't happening. I just wasn't comfortable leaving the kids. So we didn't end up going. Um, it was a shame, but our flights were super cheap. I think our flights were like under a hundred pounds and then we got a really decent hotel, but we managed to like cancel it anyway. Um, so, so yeah, it wasn't the end of the world, but I'd bought all this stuff to go to Milan and then now the weather's completely turned, like it's so rainy today. So I don't know whether, uh, I'm gonna see what the weather does over the next two weeks and if I don't wear any of them, if I'm just gonna return it. It's a little bit disappointing, but, um, but it's fine. So yeah, I've got that video uploaded. I have gone through all my like admin and my emails and everything that I needed to do today. So it feels like, it feels really good. I feel like I just had such a much better day today. It's quarter to six, Rick has been home. Um, he's had his tattoo done and also our new nephew has been born. So, so excited about that. Um, I can't wait to go meet him. We've had some pictures, he looks absolutely gorgeous. So. We're gonna go at some point this week, but any other mums know, like I know what it's like when everyone wants to come see you, you might not feel up to it. So we're just not, we're not rushing um, or like putting any pressure on. So yeah, I've done that. I've just filmed a few TikToks really quickly because I was just in the mood, but um, I've got so much done today and I think I've changed some, one tiny little thing and it's made such a difference the last two days. I've switched all my notifications off on my phone. So I basically have my phone in Do Not Disturb um, bar call, I can, uh, but it still allows calls from like my favorites. So it's all like the kids and my mom and Rick and like everyone that calls me and needs me like urgently, everything else. I've just been putting, to, I've just been putting my phone into Do Not Disturb. I cannot tell you the difference in my concentration, in how much I've got done today. Like it's been such a game changer and the same for yesterday. Like I barely switched, looked at my phone. I didn't look on social media. Today I've only just gone on to like post some things I needed to post. And apart from that, I've just been like, just cracking on with work. So yeah, it feels like it's been a really good day. So Rick's at the gym, I'm waiting for him to come back. I thought I'd just sort this washing out. I've actually got something here that came through the door today. God, it's a bit dark in here. Let me switch these lights on. It actually feels really like autumn -y today and it's really getting me in the mood for like autumn fashion. So many, I don't know what it is. Everyone must be feeling this today because I've had so many messages literally today and I've not had them at all before um, on my Instagram saying like, when are you gonna start doing autumn outfits? When are you gonna start sharing autumn inspo? So yeah, it must be just something in the air with this weather today. It's so rainy, it's absolutely poured it down this afternoon. So in answer to that, I've been planning some stuff out this afternoon um, for some autumn bits and what I'm wanting to buy. And um, I thought what I'll probably do is like a must-haves video for each month because I think like for September, it's much more like transitional pieces. And then October, it starts to get a bit colder and like how I just do like some monthly like must-haves. So yeah, that's exciting because you all know autumn is my absolute favorite time of the year for dressing, for sharing content, like it is my season. So I'm very excited too. Um, but yeah, I'm just babbling away now. But these came through the door. Look at all these goodies. They're from a brand called Baber. Um, and they're these amazing like skincare sets. They're like skincare treatments in like one big set. So obviously there's like repair, lifting, energy, hydra, perfection and clear. So all the different skin like skin types. So I'll try one of these over the next few days and hopefully let you know um, on here what I think to them. So basically, let me show you inside. Don't look at it, my nails, I need to do them at some point as well. So you get all these little vials of all the different things to use. Please focus, there we go. They come in these glass bottles, so there's no plastic, and then these little, I assume, this thing that's on here, um, opens each bottle. Yeah, so you put this, um, on the top and then you use it to like break open whoops each of the glass files so they're so much better for the environment because there's no plastic 
Oh, I'm so excited to try these. So they're just like concentrated, they're like serums and yeah, you just get like each, like the morning and evening or seven days. I'm not 100% sure, must be. How exciting. So yeah, I'll try this one tonight. I'll go for the firming one, always the firming one first. Um, and I will let you know how they are, but they look so exciting. What else was I going to show you? Oh, I need to do, so I need to do my nails. So I'm gonna do those as well. Um, gel, I would actually want to order a new color. I'm feeling like a darker color now it's going near to autumn. So I want to do those. Um, and then tomorrow morning, I've actually got a little bit of a busy week. I've got tomorrow morning, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So, um, so I went dark. Last time I was in there, like all my balayage was growing out and I just thought, you know, let's just go one color. So I went back to my roots and went dark. But the only problem is that I forgot how, like I have loads of greys and I feel like they've got a lot worse since I've been ill. I think all the stress has just made it a lot worse. And they show so much more with like just solid dark hair and I've just really not been feeling it. So I'm very much in desperate need of having my roots done. I've got some root spray on at the moment, but um, I'm gonna get some highlights. And I think what I'm gonna do is get some like highlights throughout just to give it a bit of like texture and a bit of definition. And then I'm gonna get some nice face framing highlights. So I'm gonna go and see the lovely Bianca at Tony and Guy, she's gonna do my color for me tomorrow. I'm gonna to get a little trim as well, just to trim a few dead ends off, because I've not had my hair trimmed since March. I thought it was January for some reason, I don't know why, but it's actually March, so what are we in? So that's five months, so it's quite a long time, but I've just not been wanting to take any off, and there wasn't any split ends, because I've been really like looking after my hair, but now I can see a few split ends coming, so it's definitely ready for a trim. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that first thing tomorrow morning. So yeah, I will take you along. You can come to the hairdressers with me and see what happens to my hair. It's actually getting so long now. Look how long it is. That's just the front bits. But the good thing is, I don't have any breakage at the front because I've just been looking after it so much. So this is the same length as all my other hair, which is just nice. I'm kind of thinking, do I get little bangs cut in? But I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna get it, let it all grow nice and long and um, yeah we'll see so I'm just gonna wait for Rick to get back and then I'll show you his tattoo actually he did have the date today's date on his sleeve so that looks really cute and it was lucky that the baby was definitely born today because he had it done before we'd actually heard so anything could have happened you know it could have got put back a day but he had it anyway a new nephew I can't wait to have a big cuddle <coughs> excuse me so yeah, I'm gonna go and put this washing away and have a little sort out. I've got a few things on my home list that I still need to do. A little few things, what do I need to do on my home list? I ordered a present for the baby that's on there. Um, clear out the kitchen cupboard, which is this one under here, well, literally where I'm stood now. Um, we've got loads of stuff in that cupboard and we literally haven't touched it since we moved in in April. So we're like, we don't need any of that stuff. It needs to all go to the charity shop. So I might do that tomorrow though, because I'm a bit knackered now. And then I've got loads of things to order from Amazon. So toothpaste, I want to order some Dylon because Rick's got um, a couple of tops that he absolutely loves and they've gone like a little bit faded. So he wants to re-dye them. So we're fingers crossed hoping that's gonna work. Um, I want to order a new gel nail color, some plasters. I need to also find my NHS card gives me free prescriptions. Um, I think you get them for life after you've had cancer. And I've got a card and my, I've ordered my HRT patches online and I don't know where my card is and I need to upload it. So I need to find that. Um, and I need to order, also pay the bus payments for Effie and Seth for school. Seth actually starts secondary school in September. That means I only have one child left at primary school, which just is killing me, absolutely killing me. Um, so yeah, that's a bit scary. I need to like finish off back to school stuff and all that kind of stuff. I'm, oh, I'm always so last minute with it. So that is on my list. And oh, I also, I've got some skincare stuff that I want to order, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna do a bit of online shopping tonight.
and order some things. Have a look on H&M, Stradivarius, uh, ASOS, and do like a bit of a affordable autumn must-haves styling haul. So yeah, a few things left to do on my list. I have two more, two more of these big cups of water that I want to drink today. So I'm going to do those, and I also actually, I'm going to go and do it now. I need to go and get my vitamins out of the car, like I said earlier, because every single day I'm forgetting to have my vitamins, and it drives me insane. Um, and I really need to have them, especially my vitamin D, because I don't, my body doesn't produce any vitamin D anymore, and I need to take extra high strength vitamin D. I think it's that it doesn't produce it. Anyway, something to do with the menopause. You need to have high vi high strength vitamin D to protect your bones. Sorry, I just put my shoes on. Um, and I've not been taking it in like a week. So I'm going to go and get that now. So these are the vitamins that I take currently. So I have cod liver oil for my hair. Which is <laughs> kind of like getting the screen here. So I take a cod liver oil. Uh, because it's good for your skin and your hair and then I take one of these which are vitamin D high strength and then I take my hair burst gummies and then I take a multivitamin as well so I'll get one of those out of the cupboards but yeah my battery's flashing so I'm going to put it on charge and then uh, we might catch up later or if not we'll catch up in the morning good morning we are just about to jump in the car it's five to nine I'm off to go and get my hair done my roots are so bad I don't think you can actually see in this light so I've just put this little outfit on because it's actually like looks like it's gonna rain but I'm so hot at the moment so I need to be like cool. He's coming with me, dropping me off and yeah, I'm gonna go and get this hair sorted out. Uh, <laughs> Why do you always have to say it's so creepy? Uh, <laughs> right. Oh, it's really brown. Look how brown he is. Got a tan from all our little holidays. I know, eh? Is it raining? I'm booked in with Bianca who has been doing my hair for the last few months. She's so lovely, so I'm gonna see what she thinks we should do. Last time we thought maybe not put any highlights in because I'm growing it and wanting to look after it, so we were thinking not to put any bleach on it, but I just I think I've come to the decision that I don't want it all, <laughs> all one colour and dark. Just because of my roots, it makes it really hard to keep on top of. It's, is it really hot today? Was it me? I'm absolutely boiling so I've just put like this little denim skirt on and this really like loose top chucked my hair in a little pony it's such a state yeah makes off, off to the gym have you just farted yeah, it stinks you have oh, you it? actually have no, it stinks it's like shit in my throat <laughs> so how are you good Shows you a new tattoo. Alex had this tattoo done on his arm. And the date of our new nephew on his wrist. Is it sore? Uh, it's not too bad, it's a little bit. It's brown. Goes after my hair done. I need to walk the dog, don't worry. I'll get back. I might just come around to you after I've finished my hair. And then we'll probably walk the dogs and then I've just got loads of work to do. I want to get all organised with my autumn videos. So like my autumn styling um, and outfits. I've just done the biggest order on H&M. So I think that'll be the next video after this vlog. Um, like a huge, really big, <laughs> sorry. Um, a huge autumn H&M haul, which I'm very excited about that all arriving. It actually does feel very old for me, doesn't it, all of a sudden? What do you think? I think it does. Yeah, it's so wet and rainy. Oh, nice. I'll film some stuff in the hairdressers and you can see, you can see my greys here. So lovely. The joys of getting old. We'll get all those covered and a little fresh new hairdo.
forgot to vlog yesterday when I came out of the hairdressers. Um, yeah, and then since then I've been so ill overnight. So basically we came out of the hairdressers yesterday. Let me just get comfy. Because I feel like so, just like crap. There we go. I came out of the hairdressers yesterday and um, I organised to go and see my mum because they've not seen her since we got back from Wales and um, so we went for some lunch, it was really nice and then we just came back home and worked, I just cut off on loads of work yesterday because I didn't do anything in the morning, I didn't literally didn't even start work till like 2 o'clock um, and then I've been so poorly overnight I don't know what it is. The only thing I can, I mean, I had quiche when we had like a cheese and tomato quiche when we were out, so I can't imagine it being that. The place where we went was really nice and it's like all really fresh food. Um, and then Rick made me steak with a salad, and then we also had some cauliflower and broccoli cheese left over from our roast dinner the other, week, the other night. Um, so we heated that up and had that, and that's the only thing I can think what might have made me poorly. My steak was really quite well cooked and I just can't think of anything else that would have made me ill unless mm, we had a tiny bit of feta on the salad but I can't imagine being in that. Anyway, you know when you feel like, oh my god I need to throw up and then I thought no I'm going to be okay, I'm just going to go back to sleep and I'll feel better in the morning. I must have got up and down like twice thinking I was going to be sick and then I wasn't. And then, I, yeah, and then I was really ill, really sick. Went back to sleep, then woke up again, was really sick. So I don't know, I don't know why. Rick was absolutely fine. It, it's actually quite funny because he, um, Rick's not been sleeping very well at all the last, I don't know, since we got back from Wales, maybe. So last night he, um, we bought him some, you know, CBD oil, vape oil, because he has like a vape, and um, I, I rooted it out for him last night because he's only used it once before, and it really like chilled him out. And I said to him last night, he had like a, um, he has a life coaching call, so he had his call with his life coach, and then he came up to bed and I keep going on at him about being on his phone in bed I was like that's why you're not sleeping very well so um, I've been telling him he needs to read and then he had his vape thing I think I fell asleep before him but he said he like vaped loads of the CBD um, vape oil and I've never seen him sleep so well usually like if I go up to like nip to the bathroom um, or the slightest thing he wakes up, I disturb him, like he's quite a light sleeper and I must have been in and out of bed like five times. I had the window open. I also kept getting hot flushes in the middle <laughs> of feeling ill and it was so hot. For some reason my hormones had just seemed to be all over the place at the minute and my hot flushes from like the early menopause seemed to have just come back. I've not been having them for months and then they've just come back so I was having hot flushes and at the same time as being sick, it was just not good. So I had the windows open, all of the upstairs floor windows open. And so I, I think I was sick the second time, got back in bed. I was like, right, I couldn't get my to sleep. I just must have just dozed off and we've got like a photo on our windowsill and it fell off and like made such a loud noise. I had to get up, I had to, um, close the windows and he didn't even stir <laughs> at all which is so not like Rick honestly he is such a light sleeper so I'll show you actually it's on his bed the table oh, this is what he's got it's called Vitality CBD e-liquid he got it off Amazon. Honestly, if you are struggling to sleep and you vape, it has done wonders for him last night. And even this morning, he was just like fast asleep. I was laughing about it this morning with him, saying like, I've never seen you sleep. And he felt really bad because he didn't wake up when I'd um, 
been being so ill. Anyway, so just got up this morning. I've I've managed to eat. I had a bagel and some water, and I had a bag of crisps. Actually, I've <laughs> just had some watsits. You know, like sometimes when you're ill, you just need salt and carbs. So I've had that. I'm drinking, trying to drink my water, my cups. Here, I'm trying to drink loads of water, make myself feel a bit better. Um, but I've just been like on the sofa doing some emails on my phone. I did a reel, I posted some stories out actually on my Instagram, like asking my Instagram community and I think a lot of you girls will be on there as well, but just saying like what um, like what do you want to see from me more. Just sat and just planned out a load of like videos I want to do for September, so as well if you have any video requests. Um, put them in the comments and I'll add them, I'll add them on if they're not already in there. I've been really good at getting back into habit of like exercising every day. I've been doing 25 minutes, <clears throat> my 25 minute workouts um, that Rick's done for me. I don't know if you don't know about those, like um, Rick's done like a 10 week workout plan. So you just, there's a bunch of workouts and you can buy like this workout plan um i'll put the link in the description box and then you can like just do the workouts i do um every day so i've been doing those monday to friday and they've been making such a difference like i can see the difference in my arms they look a lot more toned um, and it's nice to just feel a little bit more toned and a bit more back to my normal self kind of like how i was before before the cancer um i don't remember when it gets do that today though just because I don't feel very well so I might just do a little bit of yoga later I'm just going to play it by ear because I've not been sick this morning but I still don't feel great I feel absolutely exhausted so yeah I thought I'd come upstairs and just chill and then I thought I better pick my camera up and catch up with you guys my hair I'll show you my hair later as well so it's got a lot lighter I don't know if you can see here it's just gone a little bit lighter and just like got some more dimension to it. So I'm really happy with it. Once I've had a shower and stuff in a little bit, I'll style it and show it you properly. Um, but yeah, that was a success. And I thought actually, while I'm having a quiet, quiet little minute, I was going to get this out. It's this amazing like little PR box that I got sent from this um, small business called Mindful Souls. And it's it actually, it was so funny because when they reached out and sent the email and said, we'd love to send you on, it was perfect timing because I've been reading this book. I don't remember I told you about this book. So I got this book. I think my sister bought it for me. She told me about it. My sister bought it. And it's like a Monday to Friday thing. Oh, my God. Sorry, that was the door going. I've got, um, some, I've got an Amazon parcel coming today. So... Yeah, so I started reading it at the beginning of the year and then I lost it. I thought, I think, I thought I'd lost it at the um, hospital when I took it to read. And um, so I picked it up again over the summer while I've been away. And it's been really, it's a really nice book to read. Like, it's just a really easy to read book. And it's basically about this lady who, like, spends the year trying to, like, become a bit more spiritual. So she, like looks into like horoscopes more she goes for reiki and um just and like crystal healing and all these things and kind of like talks you through it so it's really good timing because i've been having reiki this year um i've had three sessions and it's been a bit mind-blowing to be honest so i'm really loving like all this like crystals and things so so yeah it was perfect time when they sent me this box because I've got like two chapters left in this and the chapter I read a few weeks ago was all about crystal healing and um, I do have a few crystals but I don't really know that much about it so I was so excited so she sent me this box and it's like a crystal subscription service so I think you can sign up for the service and then they send you like one of these mindfulness like crystal um, boxes every month so I thought it's such a nice little treat or also like a really nice little present to send somebody so I thought it's perfect timing to open it up and have a look got these gorgeous little bags um, with all crystals in these gorgeous crystals in so I need to charge them up so I'm probably gonna do that while I have a bath um, it says to run them under water so I'm gonna do that uh, came with this gold mask so I'm gonna put that on while I have a nice bath but it's so cute and it gives you a whole like um like information sheet about it so if you need crystals or crystal healing it's um it's so lovely 
So I've got a citrine point. I've got a red aragonite. I love this. So it says this is a stabilizing stone. It could be helpful for those who are focused on bringing more harmony into their life, which is definitely me at the moment. Can help to ground spiritual growth into the lower chakras and raising the overall vibration of the body. It helps to create a deeper connection to planet Earth and releases issues from the past and attachments in the present. So it couldn't be more perfect for me right now. Yeah, if you want to learn more about crystals, it's a perfect way to like get into it. And you get all these gorgeous little bags with all these crystals in. So I'm getting quite a little collection now. I think. Also, how cute is this? So this is the Tree of Life necklace which came in my box so it's like this gorgeous crystal on a necklace and it is a clear quartz wrapped in a magical tree with leaves of amethyst and green aventurine carries a strong connection to the earth while the amethyst provide, improves concentration to program your quartz with your intentions hold it in the palm of your hand and focus on what you want to transfer into the crystal the crystal's memory will download your intentions and help to manifest those goals. How cool is it? So it's so, so noisy today. That's two people just knocked on the door while I've been showing you this. Um, and have a bath and trying to get trying to get myself feeling a little bit better. Um, so once I've done that, I'll show you how my hair is looking because you just cannot see it at the moment like this. And um, I'm also going to do my nails. So I'm going to do that as well and I'll show you those and show you um, what you need to do, what you need to make those biab and like gel stay on your nails because a lot of people keep saying like it's lifting so you need other the other bits like the dehydrator and the nail prep and stuff so I show you that have a little pamper very minimal makeup on oh, doesn't it just make you feel better sometimes just having just fake tanning my hair I am not going to do anything with it but I want to show you the colour it looks a bit of a stain now because I've literally just had it in a claw clip since yesterday but you can see the you can just see the lightness that's come into it. I just had a lot more like caramelly, um, high, like a half head of highlights just to just brighten it up slightly. You see? Looks lovely like this, doesn't it? I'll do it properly tomorrow because I'm actually leaving the house tomorrow. I Tomorrow is a big day for me. Um, so... If you follow me on TikTok, I think I've spoke about, I've definitely spoke about it on TikTok. Um, I don't know whether I have on here, but I am going for a consultation tomorrow to get these gone. I've been backwards and forwards on it for 
God, this is really booby. I don't usually wear anything like this. I've been very backwards and forwards on it, deciding whether I wanted to get my implants removed. So I'm gonna go for a, a consultation tomorrow and see what I think after that. But I think my mind is pretty much made up. I just really regret having them done. Um, I think I wanted them done for the wrong reasons. I wanted implants too because I felt like my boobs were saggy, but I didn't actually want them big. And actually, I think maybe if I'd been a little bit more clear with my consultant and maybe thought about it a little bit more myself, I probably would have just, just had a lift at the time rather than breast implants. I'm just, I don't like them. I'm not comfortable with them. I'd never wear anything like revealing like this because I just feel like it's really booby. Like everything's just like phew, cleavage. And I haven't even got that big implants, but yeah, my mind I think is pretty much made up. So I'm gonna go, I'm going to Pall Mall. I'm going to a place called Pall Mall tomorrow to go and see a surgeon and see what he thinks about potentially getting them removed and also having a lift at the same time. So hopefully I'll be left with my small boobs like I used to have, but just a little bit more perky, not saggy, because they were so saggy after, after having the three kids, so. Yeah, so that's tomorrow. So when I go out tomorrow, I will actually do my hair, but you can just about, I think, see the colour. It's just that little, little, a little bit lighter. And yeah, I'm super happy with it. Hi. Um, oh, I feel so much better now. Popping up two months shortly, doing that tip run. Oh, okay. No, I'm going to stay here and crack on with some work. I'm filming you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> food. Hmm? Some food. I've got some. Okay. I had a bagel. I had. Aldi oh, 20 gram yeah. vegan protein bar. Great source of protein. <laughs> it tastes great. In my gym shop tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, I've done the emails. I was replying back, so I might as well do that now. Yeah, I'm gonna make some food, another bagel, yeah. I think. And. Juice for energy. I had a bagel with that. Uh, I don't think I'm eating enough. I'm not into it. No, I'm not eating enough. Wow. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna do my nails and stuff. Do a bit of work. Yeah. The plate is on my journal. Your journal was under my plate. <laughs> Right, we're going to food. Yeah. So I'm going to do my nails now while um, while I think about it because I've not actually had anything on them for about three or four days. Which is, um, I can't really remember the last time that I went to the salon and got my nails done. I was having just like acrylic overlays and then I stopped even just having that done because I just, I'm finding that I just like them really short. I got my gel lamp back out from storage um, because I bought it during lockdown. I always found that they, would, they wouldn't last and they peeled off. So um, I did a little bit more research into it um, when I got bought some of the Biab gel and I realized I was missing out like three crucial steps. So, since I've been doing that, they last just as much as they would if I had them done in the salon. But I still think it takes me less time than, you know, driving to the salon, usually having to wait and then sit and get them done. Um, and yeah, generally, like, I've always been pretty good at doing my own nails, you know, like with nail varnish and stuff. So it's not too bad. So if you can generally, like, paint your own nails, you should be able to do this. I'm sorry if you can hear buzzing. I don't know what's just happened. I've just made myself coffee. Turned around and like, suddenly there was like loads of flies in here. I think they've all gone now. I tried to like waft them out. So I've made myself a coffee. I thought, Rick's gone to the gym. So I thought, while he's gone, I'm gonna sit here, show you how I do my nails. And then I'm gonna have a little bit of a sort out. I've got quite a busy day tomorrow because I've got um, a video I need to film. And then drive in to my appointment at like four-ish. So I want to get like organised 
tonight for all my filming so in the morning I can just get up and so yeah we'll sit here with my coffee I've also got myself one of these out oh my goodness these bars let me tell you um misfits they're like a protein bar um they're so good there's these ones and then there's also chocolate brownie ones which come in a purple packet they're my favorites uh the amount of times they have saved me from like eating tons of chocolate or having a little bit of a sweet craving and like binging on stuff i don't actually want to eat really really good and they're vegan so if you see them anywhere i definitely recommend picking them up so i'm gonna have one of these make myself a nice little oak coffee so first thing so i'm actually just filming this for tiktok as well so my phone's just here too but first thing to do is i use this dehydrator i'll link all the products in the description as well first things first and this is a step that i kept missing out you need a dehydrator and and then removes any oil from your nail which then helps the gel or the biab to stick better to your nail so you just pop that on and let it air dry the next thing is nail primer so this goes on top I'll leave like a sticky surface to your nail which then allows the gel the base coat and the top coat to um, stick better to your nail and you just let that air dry for like 30 to 60 seconds then I go in with the base gel I cured it for 30 seconds and then it's just a case of two coats of either gel or biab I'm just doing gel today that's not the color i want i'm not actually sure on this color i've just done the other hand it's like a it's like a nudie pink i kind of wanted it a bit lighter and then for each coat i cure it for 30 to 60 seconds oh my god it's so hot in this kitchen the sun comes in in the evening and i have suddenly gone so hot so i'm really quickly going to show you before I move so there's the finished nails I like just a simple nail I'm not sure on this color 100% I think I like one that's a little bit more like see-through but it's fine it will look cute for the next week or so so yeah my, ca my, my camera battery is flashing at me I'm absolutely dying in this hoodie sat here in the sun so I'm gonna go get changed put my camera on charge sort my stuff out for the haul tomorrow and I'll probably catch up with you again in the morning.